footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zaw of the Playbook, breaking down an NFC divisional matchup between the 49ers and the Saints. Now let's take a look at the Saints offensive game plan in this ball game. You look at what they can do well. They can run the football over 160 yards against the Lions. No one's talking about that though. But you look at where they can attack San Francisco. They're not going to give up 160 yards on the ground. But if they give up 80, that's still a win for the Saints. Reason being the Saints love to operate off play action. And when they go play action pass, they go max protect, single guy going across the field and Drew Brees will find him with a couple of leakage as far as your, your outlet uh, routes as well to as far as you can dump off to the tight end and the running back so if they can run the football the play action pass will be there and they have to attack the safeties of San Francisco and also attack the nickel and dime corners that's what a passing team like the Saints put a lot of pressure on teams like the 49ers because you're going to look at guys like Culliver and company they're going to have to cover your nickel and dime corners are going to have to cover those guys in the slot and if the Saints can attack that and use that as an extension of their running game they can have success defensive game plan for New Orleans against Alex Smith in the passing attack the 49ers love to run power game their power offense would mean they pull that backside guard bring him front side with the double tight ends on the same side they have to meet the rubber at the road by stonewalling their running attack you got to put the 49ers in backup situations you got to make Alex Smith throw 25 to 30 passes and if you could win on first down defensively you can do that against the 49ers so the outside linebackers and defensive ends play side defensive ends of the four of the New Orleans Saints have to win at the point of attack. If they don't do so, if they can't stonewall that guard, that backside guard that's pulling, the 49ers can run the football all day and shrink the possessions, possessions of that Saints offense. Now let's look at the San Francisco 49ers offensive game plan against New Orleans. The 49ers have to come into this ball game and they have to maximize their own possessions. We know the 49ers have talented playmakers. They have some very good wide receivers, a good tight end, two good running backs, and they can move the football 20 to 20. Now against the Saints, you have to capitalize in the red zone. You have to pay off with touchdowns because we know the Saints can score touchdowns at will. Playing at home, at home, on your own turf, you know you can run the football against the Saints. The Saints defense gives up a lot of yards and they tighten up in the red zone. But if the 49ers can convert in the red zone, they can easily win this ball game. So I look for them to focus more, get more creative with red zone play calling to help give your offense an opportunity. You may even flank out Vernon Davis, take one on one opportunities with him, put Michael Crabtree in the slot, do something, get creative to get points. Uh, get touchdowns in the red zones instead of field goal. Now, defensive game plan for New Orleans, interior pressure. So, against Drew Brees, you cannot just fly up the field because he can do a great job of stepping up and finding targets down the field. Your game and stunts has to be important and they have to dominate the A-gap. You want to confuse Brian De La Puente, the center of the Saints, and picking up blitzes and recognizing where these guys are coming from. You cannot just rush from the outside against New Orleans. And covering the Saints wide receivers, you have to play man press. That gives your pass rush more opportunities to get to Drew Brees. You can't just allow these guys free release off the line of scrimmage. You can't allow these guys to tear up your coverage or finding the dead spots in the zone. You dictate that by playing man up on these wide receivers and forcing them to get off bump press. X factors in this ball game, X factor for the Saints has to be an early start. The first quarter is going to be vital for the Saints and their psyche and how well they play throughout the game. X factor for San Francisco has to be getting the blitz to Drew Brees. You have to stay constant in your pressure. You cannot let up. Teams that run a 3-4 defense usually give the Saints problems and the 49ers have one of the best 3-4 defenses in the league. Huge game right here. Old NFC West rivalry dates back to when the Saints entered the league. I like the way these teams match up against each other, strength versus strength. I'm going with New Orleans. Reason being, I think people don't give them enough credit as far as how well they can run the football. And I think they run just enough to keep balance to where the passing game can flourish and they can move the football against the San Francisco 49ers. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. Follow me on Twitter, guys, at FBallGamePlan. And listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.